Hello and welcome to our series on uh, vegetable production with Sakata, where we tell you all about the do's and the don'ts and everything that you need to be able to get a successful crop at the end of the day. Today we're talking about water specifically in terms of um, how about not to over irrigate and not to under irrigate what the um, the water needs are of plants and so forth so Lolo is going to tell me a little bit more about everything and show you exactly how do you need to determine the amount of water that you need or moisture that you need in the soil Lolo how are you doing good yourself Andre now good right first of all let's talk water and plants what happens when I give something too little water when you give it too little water, uh, what's going to happen is that it's going to limit its size. Yeah. Uh, as a result, you're going to limit your harvest. Yep. So smaller leaves, smaller fruit, and if it produces fruits, uh, smaller head if it produces a head. Uh, but essentially what you're going to get is an undesirable plant at the end of the day. And in extreme circumstances, they can actually just die. That's correct. Um, and what happens then if I give it too much water? Too much water, death is also a result uh, because now you're taking out all its oxygen, you suffocate it and it will die. Uh, others will just start showing um, signs of wilting. They just start wilting while they're green and then start turning yellow and then die. And then that's, that's, the, that's the other extreme. That's the other so extreme. this is pretty much a Goldilocks industry where it, the porridge doesn't need to be too cold or too okay. hot. It just needs to be just right. Just right. That's correct. <laughs> okay. So how do I determine if I look at my soil and I'm just going, okay, like, because you can look at plants and see, oh, but they're still looking very fine, but you're already too dry in the soil side. Mm. And you will only a few days afterwards see the plant starting to wilt uh, and not have enough soil but then it takes you time and you've already got damage on your crop am i correct that is very much correct so how do i determine what's the right amount of soil that i've uh, water that i've got in my soil um so there's there's some nice technology out there some soil moisture probes yes. that you can stick into your soil and they'll tell you how how much water is in your, your or how much moisture is in your soil uh but i i prefer the traditional method um, especially for the smallholder farmers who do not have access to that type of technology uh, what you can just do is that you can have a feel of your soil yes and then get your soil in your hand and mold it yes uh, make a mold out of your soil and what is it what what does that mean a mold making a mold uh so you remember like when we were kids and we play with clay and we'll make a head and you'll make a body and you're molding. <laughs> yeah, you know? yeah, yeah, so, yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, you want to mold your soil like that. If you're unable to mold your soil and it just becomes loose, it's too dry. But let's, let's have a look here quickly. And uh, let's just see if we can uh, basically get that, uh, um, that process going. Uh -huh. And you can show me. Oh, yes, some moisture. There's some moisture. There we go. Okay, cool. So show me then what will I then do to, so, to basically mold it. So what you do, you take the soil like that. Yep. and you mold it like that. So you see, uh, it makes a perfect mold like that that sticks together like that. So there's basically, um, it actually has got moisture there. You can see it's almost like clay, as you say. I yeah, can, exactly. with a little bit of, uh, um, <laughs> what do they call it, imagination, <laughs> I can now go and make a maniki here. <laughs> That's correct. <laughs> in, some way or, in some way or form. And if you try to do that with this, that's not going to happen. So with this, that will not happen at the end of the day. Okay, so when we look at the, uh, um, the soils in terms of determining where the moisture is in, in terms of my profile, I see that it's a little bit dry on top. So when you look at it from the, the top, you would say, oh, but this thing needs a lot of water. And as soon as, as, soon as you start digging, you see but there's enough soil, uh, moisture in the soil, actually. How do I determine that? Oh, that's a good question. And you know, water is something that's scarce for us in our country. Um, so the first thing you want to do is that you want to check the, 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 your soil closest to your root zone. So you want to dig there, not uh, necessarily in the center of your bed, but closer to the root zone. And as you mentioned, it is dry at the top, but if you we dig a little bit, you'll see that it starts getting moist. Uh, very, very you know. um, So indeed, when you look at it from the top, you'll think, no, these plants need water right now, but they actually do have enough water. I'm with you. So um, then in terms of how deep do I need to water my soil and make sure uh, when you come in, I know you get these uh, ground uh, or soil bores that you get that you uh, um, dig a little bit deeper and you can get all the moisture from there and make sure uh, um, that you've got an even spread of moisture between your profile. But how deep do I really want to have moisture? Uh, you want to have it up to at least 60 centimeters deep into your soil. 
Yep. Um, so the, the, the other thing that you can do is that you can dig a soil profile leave your irrigation on and then time to see how long the water takes to get to that area and that's how you can actually gauge how long you should irrigate. So in terms of um, water and the amount of water I give at a time, um, how do I determine that? Um, is it like now I should just irrigate for like an hour but I do it an hour and then every three hours I do it for an hour or do I do six hours non-stop or do I do two days non-stop and then for three days nothing? How do I determine that? So how you determine that is that you want to uh, make a dig your soil profile right and then you want to irrigate and obviously you want to also gauge how much your 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 uh, plant has grown so when you dig just close to the root zone you will see uh, the white roots underneath there and you just see how deep they've gone and that's how deep you should water till so run your irrigation see how long it takes that water to get to that point and then that's how i know you know uh, how long to irrigate as the plant grows you will see the roots getting deeper and you do the same and as time goes on you will more or less get a gut feel for it in terms of how you should and uh, should not irrigate and does the soil make a difference in terms of the type of soil if you go sand or uh, more like a clay type soil which this is um, in terms of the amount of water that I need to give and how I need to approach that in terms of the frequency definitely uh, you would see a lot of cases uh, what I would find is that especially the farmers with the with the clay soil they tend to over irrigate yeah they put too much water um, and with the sandy uh, uh, area they would irrigate and say ah they said I must irrigate twice a day but it gets dry very quickly and they had to irrigate more times or uh, in splits periods yeah uh, and they tend not to do that so it does very much depend on your soil that's why I feel like it's very important to come into the field dig around and have a feel for your soil make sure that you and your soil as they say the best fertilizer um, is your footprints in the in the land <laughs> that's correct <laughs> Lolo thank you very much so that is the importance of irrigation in our Sakata vegetable production series make sure that you see all our other videos in terms of soil preparation fertilization um, how do you plant seeds in different circumstances for different types of vegetables and um, if you irrigate properly you'll also be able to build a little maniki like this one <laughs> till next time cheers